Hello, this is a video from me. What I'm going to do is to show you how to make this uh, triangular prism in um, GeoGebra app, in the GeoGebra app. Um, what it does is actually it shows that volume is the cross-sectional area times the height. And there you can see like that. So I'm, what I'm going to do is show you how to actually make this um, applet. Okay, so just going to close, on, close this down and then I'm going to open up GeoGebra again so like we're starting from notes. So when GeoGebra opens up it looks like this okay we will need to add first of all go to view and we're going to add a 3D a 3D a 3D uh, graphics page okay and that will appear on the uh, left hand so right hand side like that okay we'll, we'll keep the axis for the moment but we can easily get rid of those so first of all I'm going to create a the triangular base so I'm going to take my point on select it and put a point here a point here and a point here you can see that the same points appear on the 3d version as well right then I'm going to create my uh, polygon around that, so my triangle around that. So I'm going to select A, select B, and select C. Now you must make sure you go back to the one that started with, so select fit A. You'll know you've done it correctly when you've got these B, A, C. Now I don't really want those labels on there, so to get rid of that, I'm just going to select this and, sorry, press escape and press that one, press shift, press that one, and now right click and then deselect show label and I'll get rid of those signs there. Okay, I want to change the colour of this one to a, a sort of a dark green, so th this is called poly one, so select poly one, right click, go to object properties, so this is the same for all objects, object properties, select it, go to colour and select a dark green and I'm going to opac opacity I'm going to make at 75 so it stands out again you can already now see that on the 3D version it's already turned green okay and then put that one there right now I'm going to actually create my triangular prism so if I click in the 3D graphics view like that and then I need to go to this one up here and select extrude to extrude to prism or cylinder select that select my polygon you can see it's changed color click and this will come up I'm going to make the height of it um, H so I'm going to make a variable height and now if I press OK it will ask me to create a slider for H okay so I'm going to create the slider and now I need to format the slider. So if I select the slider, go back. So I go back to point mode, 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 and you can see part of the things there. And right click, go to object properties, and I'm going to select the minimum, minimum of this one here, to be equal to zero. Okay. And if I want to, I can also change the color. I quite like green, but you can make it any color you want and then press close. Now if I move the slider you can see it makes the prism. Okay. Right, which one is the actual prism that I want? Well you can see from the algebra review this is the prism D. I want to change its colour to being the same green as that. So I'm going to select that prism. Okay, this one here, the prism. And then right Right, right select, go to object properties and again select the green. The most recent colour I've chosen is there. Close it and then if I move this up and down this will still be green. Okay, right, so I'm going to put that now back at zero. Now I'm going to actually create another prism on top of that. So I'm going to select polygon and I'm going to again select A, select B, C, and make sure you go back to A again. 
Okay, you can see now I've got another, not another polyhedra. Okay, again, if to get rid of all the um, labels, if I select from here to here and then right click, these are the, these are the labels, and click show label and then maybe right click and not show label, they will all disappear. Okay. Right, now click over here and then extrude to prism or cylinder. So I need to check the same one again. Click this one and then click on this. And then the height this time we want to be 5. Okay, and then I press OK. All right, and then you see the brown prism uh, is now actually there permanently. If I click the arrow and I move this, you can see that it's filling up. It gives the impression that you have the same cross-sectional area all the time. Okay. Right, next thing I'm going to do is uh, I don't no, no longer need any axes, so I'm going to right-click here and get rid of the axes, and I'm going to right-click here and get rid of the axes, but that triangle I can't get rid of, so I'm just going to move this right over here. And then I'm going to move this over here to make it bigger. I still just need the algebra view a little bit. So what I do, I want to make a label now. So if I can either make the label in here or in here. I'm just going to make it under in here underneath the slider. So go to the slider one, pick the little arrow and click text. And then this text box will come up. So, so volume is equal to cross sorry cross sectional area and then the times is a symbol but just click the basic and get the times times the height okay right click and then move this across until we get to here equals. Now the cross-sectional area is the base area, so then what I need to do is find what the polys here. Alright, find the poly and then select it. It doesn't matter which one I select, poly, and it will take the value of the cross-sectional area. Okay, I've done something wrong there, so I'm just going to undo that. Control Z. So I just need to delete that. I need to be in this one underneath here. So let's just try again. Okay, poly, right? So now you can see that a 3 has appeared, because that's a cross-sectional area. Now I wanted to consider the value of the height, So, to, um, and the height is the moving height of the slider. So this here, up here, represents the H slider. So I'm going to have a, uh, a space, if I can, and the times, and another space, and then I'm going to select the slider. Okay, at the moment the height is 0. Okay, so that's good, and then I'm going to press enter again, and underneath that I'm going to scroll across, line up the equal sign, and put equals, and now I want the volume of the prism. So the pr prism I want is the green one, because that actually fills up. So I need to press this one here, which is D. There's two prisms, that's the uh, orange one. I want it to do, measure the volume of the green one as it, as it moves the slider along. So select that one, it will be zero at the moment. And now press OK. Move that text box underneath there like that. Okay, I can format the text box if I want to do. Sorry, just press cancel by clicking the arrow, right click, object properties, and if I wanted to make it red, maybe I can change the text size as well by going back to text, make it bold, maybe to stand out, and press done. Right, I've now finished with the algebra view. Okay, so just going to move this across here. And I, if I move this up here, you can see now I get the volume filling up and it tells me the volume wherever the green bit is, so it gives you the area of, of cross-section. I can now look at it at different angles. If I click here, press this one, and I can move it around, and I can look at it at different angles. And of course I can actually move it up and, up and down. Okay, so you can get the idea of cross-sectional area. Moving up and down. 
like that, okay. Now, one of the nicest things about G-Algebra is that you can actually get some free D glasses. They're called red cyan glasses. You click here, and you see this one at the very, very end here. If you click it, the little arrow, you will see some glasses. So if you click the glasses one, and you put on the uh, red cyan glasses, you will now see it in actual 3D. It will now look in 3D. Okay, so you need to be a little bit careful when you take the glasses off, blink a few times, so you get that sort of idea. So click here and I click back to that, put it back like that. Now, just one last thing. If you have a GeoGebra account, you can upload this to GeoGebra. So how to do that? Okay, so you have to be signed into your GeoGebra account, which I am by default on this. So file and export, uh, sorry, share. So you want to go to share. Press share, all right, and then it's uploaded to uh, GeoGebra. You need to be connected to the internet, hopefully my internet's connected. Okay, so going to my GeoGebra account, and depending how fast it is, okay, running a little bit slowly. Okay, it's coming up worksheet, just be patient. Okay, so it's moving, but the internet's not that fast where I am at the moment. Okay, I can put a title in. So triangular prism. Okay. Now, if I click here, okay, I put title. And just ignore that. What, what, one reason for doing this is in the advanced settings down here. If I click the advanced settings. Okay. Sorry, I'll just try again, and then I put the show menu or make it look like the GeoGebra app. Look, press done. And if I just widen the window, and then I've got a copy of what I've just done. And there, it's got all the all all the menus as well. If I do that, and now press save. Then, if I want to share it. Time to save because the internet's running a bit slow. Right, when it's been shared, it will say it will change your save, and then if I wanted to, I can press this button here. Okay, I can either share the link to it, okay, or well, the best thing is I can actually embed it into another program. So what you do to do that, press show more, copy the, the embed code with control C and then go to another program like Firefly or something and just press control V or command V if you've got a Mac and it will actually appear on that web page. So that's about uploading to GeoGebra Tube. So finally, finally, let's go back to our, our sort of wanted to split the boot for some reason. Okay, so finally, this is my GeoGebra applet. Okay, and I hope you have enjoyed this video and hope you can follow the instructions. My advice to you is to pause and stop it at different points. Thank you very much for watching.